Hello, and welcome back to Recitation. I'd like to uh, work on a problem with you, which is to compute the volume of a parallel pipette using 3x3 three three determinants. So here we've got the parallel pipette drawn. It has one of its vertices is at the origin 0, 0, 0. And the other three edges are given to us uh, with these coordinates here. So why don't you take some time to work out this problem, pause the video, and check back with me, and I'll show you how I solved it. OK, welcome back. Let's get started. So uh, the first thing that we uh, need to do is we need to remember that computing volumes of parallel pipettes is the same thing as computing 3 by 3 determinants. So the volume is just equal to the determinant uh, which is built out of the vectors, uh, the row vectors determining the edges. So we have Well, that's almost true. Uh, this determinant will be uh, either a positive or a negative number, and we always want to take the positive number. So I'm going to write plus or minus here. And we'll have to remember at the end that we want a positive number. So we can compute this determinant using Laplace expansion, as we did in the last video. So for Laplace expansion, we, take the, we can do Laplace expansion on the first row. And that will, again, be nice because uh, this 0 here will make our computation simpler. And so remember, what we do is we take the first entry in the row, and then we need to multiply by the minor that we get by covering up that row and that column. So we have this, this little 2 by 2 determinant, which looks like minus 1. And now we need to subtract uh, the next entry in the row times uh, its minor, which is now this matrix, 1, 1, 0, 1. So taking that determinant, we get 1 uh, minus 0. So altogether, we get 1. So what that tells us is that our, uh, our uh, determinant is uh, minus 4. But then that tells us that our volume is plus four. And I'll leave it at that.